Hey everyone, it's Arlene. I wanted to share a mini album project with you all. And um, recently I received a rack from Amy and she's at Worker Forever 123. And um, I thought I would make her a tag um, and mail that out to her. And then I thought about it and I thought, you know what, I think I'm going to make her a mini album. So um, this mini album is for you, Amy. Um, and I just wanted to go ahead and and show you all what I did. Now the paper collection that I'm using is by Kane Company and it's called the Lovely Collection. Um, it's new um, for Valentine's and you can pick it up at Michael's. Um, <clears throat> but what I did is I used a, um, a Prima tin um, for the container and let me show you guys what it is. So basically when you buy your Prima you get it in this tin and I have a ton of these um, tins that I use you know usually for um, storing stuff um, after they're empty, after I use up all the flowers. But So I have some empty ones, so I figured um, here's a different tin mini. Um, so I've been making tin minis, and here's another one. So basically um, what I did is I just covered um, the tin with some paper, and the reason why it's... Um, this is one of my challenges, guys, is it's impossible for me to make a thin mini album. My mini album actually ended up getting so chunky that the cover... Um, is a little popping <laughs> but um, anyway so I have a ribbon holding it down but anyways that's what I did is I used the Prima Calypso tin and I lined um, the outside of the tin with some of the designer paper and then I also cut out um, a circle using my um, circles die by Sizzix in my Big Shot okay so you just open it like this at least the top doesn't pop off <laughs> So the top comes off like this, and so you'll see that I just adhered the, um, the paper on top, and I glimmer mist all the papers um, with iridescent gold, and I edged it, um, edged all the papers with my color box chalk ink, um, and I used what's this called? I think it's called rouge. Um, warm red is the color that I used. Okay, um, so to get the mini album out, um, you just want to sort of pull on the. You could pull on the ribbon. Um, or on this um, little chain here because it's all connected to the binding. So you just kind of pull on that to get it started and then it just comes out. Okay, so here's the little mini. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, what I did. So um, basically the mini album um, is made out of those coasters that you buy in the dollar section at Michael's and I just um, cut out the designer paper using my circles die um, by Sizzix and it fits perfectly over the coasters. Just have to edge, the, um, sand the edges a little bit, but that's normal. You want to make sure you sand the edges of your pages anyhow. So, um, but anyways, that's what I used. Uh, the binding, I'm using um, some ribbon that I purchased at my local scrapbook store. Um, so, this is how it's it's bound and then I put some fiber on here and this pretty pretty pink fiber here I received from Michelle at um, one Michelle Joy hi Michelle and I think it's so pretty it's my favorite fiber right now she has some gorgeous fiber in Canada okay so let me show you what I did in the binding so this little class little clip that you see here and it's an it's like an alligator clip um, do you see this right here it's a Seven Gypsies um, ATC clip. So this is basically what you use to hang your ATC in one of those um, spinner things. Uh, and what I did is I just used my pliers to close shut the hook. And that's holding um, this charm here that I picked up at Michael's and a little heart that says Made with Love. And then this is a little Seven Gypsies um, pearl ring um, with a little clasp. And then I attached a, um, a charm at the end that says Passion. Now, of course, this is a... Um, uh, Valentine's mini album so Amy this is for you and your loved one your significant other so um, so I have a Sizzix heart here and Bona cut out a whole bunch of these for me so thank you Bona um, I don't have this particular Sizzix die so it was kind of cool that she um, cut me a whole bunch of them so basically I acrylic painted it with gold and um, crimson red and then I um, Versa marked it um, put UD and glitter um, over it so that's where you get that little bit of a shine and I thought this paper was so pretty with a little cherub um, so I just stick some bling there um, punched out from the designer paper the word timeless and then I have a prima flower and a Heidi swap flower that I folded up um, on the edge there and then these are some prima um, roses in the center 
and I just glimmer mist um, that. Okay, and then on the first page, I have some vintage findings, flowers, and a pin, and the pin is actually holding in the little heart charm here. Then I have some ribbon. It says you and me, so she can place a photo right here, and then there's some tags for journaling. I'm just going to kind of put these here, so. And then here's a little um, thing that says um, a beautiful thing and then just space for pictures or photo. And then I used my um, Nestabilities die to cut this out. I love it because it cuts it out and it em embosses it. If you can see the embossing on the frame, so neat. And then I um, colored this um, Prima or painted this Prima with Shimmer's paint. And then it says Sweetheart and I used a Modern Label Punch by Stampin' Up there. And then this little tag comes out. It's just itty bitty teeny tag. Could do a little bit of journaling back there for whatever photo goes on there. Okay, and then on this page here, um, this is the petal die by Stampin' Up. We got a Prima flower and this little bling, but basically it's Velcroed in. And I did something similar to this in my um, K & Company mini album I did for my, um, my son Dylan. So the petal card basically opens like this, and this is how a petal card is supposed to be folded. Um, so basically it opens like that and then there's a little mat in here and it just says cutie pie and then on the back there's room for journaling okay so that's that I'll just close that later and then we have an acetate page here it says together with a little frame and then over here look Amy this is the punch that Amy bought me it's so pretty I love it so much but this is the um, the doily lace punch that she um, that she shipped to me she's so sweet um, mine was broken so she was so kind and picked one up um, at her local store where mine didn't have it um, on hand anymore so I'm so excited and I can't wait to use that some more so um, I just created a little um, set of journaling spots for her where she can mount a photo and then do some journaling in the back and there's four of them on here Okay, just really simple and then there's some fiber and a little charm if I can get it there we go the little charm okay and then we have some little hearts on there and I gotta move fast because we're already seven minutes in okay so I have a little um, uh, Webster's page uh, journaling spot here it says perfect day I put some mercantile um, tiles on here um, and then prima flower a little heart bling and then there's three tags in here um, for journaling and then what I did is I put a little um, cute little pink ribbon and then I just stapled it onto the tag. Really simple. Okay, and then on here I have the um, frame uh, made out of grunge paper and then I distressed it with mahogany distress ink and then I put stickles over it, pink stickles. And then here's a Prima ribbon that I distressed with glimmer mist and then um, another Prima uh, flower that I painted with shimmers paint and then a little tile on there. Then over here, these are those little garden picks um, that you get in the wedding section at Michael's. Um, it's a butterfly, and I used this on my butterfly mini album um, that I made for a DSC swap. It says, this is what love looks like, and um, Amy can insert a photo here. And then there can be some journaling going on in the back there. And this is just acetate, and then I um, edged it with white stays on. And then here's um, a heart that I used my um, glass bead technique on. I'm really loving that technique and I used um, these Martha Stewart um, luster glass microbeads this time and I, I got it in garnet so that's gonna be fun to work with for Valentine's um, and then over here um, I just have a heart doily um, that I glimmer missed and then you open it up like this and there's a little key and I gotta hurry here guys because I'm almost out of time and then there's space for journaling back there and then photos and then over here we just have um, a heart that I embossed and put glitter, um, shimmers paint on the flower again, and then tags, three of them, space for journaling in the back. Okay, and then over here it says the story of us, and then this bullnose clip just comes off, and there's a little journal section for Amy to um, put some little thoughts in um, about the story of us okay so um and then the last page it just says to Amy handcrafted with love by Arlene Cuevas my butterfly kisses 12 rack 128 10 so hope you like it try it out it's fun to do thanks for watching everyone bye